Hey guys, we're here at the South Boston Speedway today. Today is the day before training day. We're testing cameras, getting some extra B-roll. We're here with Jeb and his crew. GoPro stuff's looking awesome, drone in the air. We're testing everything out. It's freaking epic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got Dylan, he's our cameraman. Lead extraordinaire, wow. We got Spencer, everybody knows Spencer, co-host for the Adventure Channel. And we got Ben Godley. Ben is our main editor here for Adventure Channel, and he also shoots camera A's, B's, and C's, whichever <laughs> one we give him. All of them. So, as a cameraman, both of you guys, what were the challenges of NASCAR? What was exciting, what was cool? Maybe talk about editing. Yeah, so I mean, for me, like, I did grow up watching NASCAR, mm. so this was my favorite video to edit yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, the speed up. of the cars were just so, like, another level. Like, with drone stuff, which is what I do, and then just all of, like, the, the gimbals and stuff, like, when you're trying to pan the stuff, those cars are in and out of the shot in no time, and so you're trying to keep up with the cars as they're just flying around the track, and you're struggling a lot, so right. you have to get creative with what you're doing. And, and the GoPros. We had GoPros <laughs> on the walls yeah. and the cars. Two and GoPros the, flew off, yeah, the, shattered the glass on them. Got <laughs> ran, they were ran over, right? Yeah. yeah, we got one that got run over. We can cut to that. Two. Cool. We had two that got ran over. We've um, never had a more true. GoPro intensive <laughs> shoot. Like, yeah. we had them on every angle of the car, inside, outside, drones in the air. I mean, it was insane. That yeah, was right. great. Yeah. Steve was perfect for this. He loved NASCAR. So he's been a NASCAR fan for like his whole life and always wanted to get behind any kind of a race car. I think when he showed up, I mean, the excite I fed off of his excitement. He was pumped to get behind the wheel of that thing, so. And he knew, I mean, he knew all the racers. All the racers. That, I mean, hey, full transparency, wasn't a NASCAR fan growing up. Yeah. I always kind of thought, <laughs> what are they doing? They're going in circles, okay? Uh, my perception of that has changed completely. Absolutely. But, but Steve was, he was rare to go. He came out talking trash right out of the <laughs> back. I hope you're ready to get beat. <laughs> I gotta smoke this joker. Now I'm gonna tear all this grass up doing donuts and I'm gonna drive this car home. I don't think the cops can hold me. Like right off the airplane, Steve's like, oh, you're gonna get smoked. Yeah, I mean, we have it in the main video a couple yeah. times. So I'll talk real quick about the power of these machines that we got into. Um, they are stripped down, there is no frills inside. And you, when you buckle in, like you cannot move your head. Oh, it's claustrophobic. Except your hands. And it's like this. And it is, and I, I don't know why, right? I mean, if you hit the wall going that, that fast, you would instantly snap your neck. But the power um, was intense. And yeah. I, I was thinking you're gonna shift through, you know, back and forth shift. You know, you hit one first gear, second gear on the first turn, third gear on the, on the, on the, on the third turn, and the fourth turn, you're hitting fourth gear and you're not letting up the whole time. Yeah, and that was on the short track. The big track, I don't know if we were supposed to be, but I was in fourth, like, coming out of the pit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. I so, I will say that when you're drifting around a corner, it is like being on a sheet of ice. And you are drifting. Like, there it is, doesn't look like it from the air, but you are. You're, you're totally controlling the drift, and seriously, it feels like, I don't know, it's weird. It feels like you're in control, but it also feels like you could slide off into the wall at any time. Yeah. You know, yeah. just let loose. Yeah. Whenever you're on ice or sand or anything, and you're drifting around a corner, it's like that. But the, you, you think to yourself, this is rubber underneath me, and I'm going sideways and forward at the same time, and I'm going 160 miles an hour, 154 miles yeah. an hour, or whatever. Um, that was very interesting and unique, but kind of natural. You're right? I mean, yeah. when you're driving, it didn't feel like, oh, how do I do this? You're just like, ooh, that feels good. Right? Yeah. When you punch it coming out of the turn, like, you're sliding, like you said, at the wall, and you're looking at the wall like, I'm terrified. And he's like, <laughs> Jeb's in my ear like, stand it, stand it, stand it, break! Right. And I'm like, wait, what? Right. <laughs> break. Go, go, go! Get to the wall, get closer to the wall, closer to the wall! I'm like, I'm against the wall! Yeah. And then he's like, go down, go down, go down, go get the trash! Go! I mean, he was yelling in your ear the whole time. Don't get the trash! Yeah. My son got to come on this trip, which is a lot of fun. He's seven years old. It was fun having him along for the drive. 
the right. ten hour drive or whatever it was too. Yeah. He added to the video. I like putting him in in the edit. And then, yeah, I think my favorite part is where he's like, "Was that scary, Steve?" And then you just see Peter's arms like taking him out of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary, Steve. That was good. That's so I like him when we're going in the van. Oh, so let's talk about oh, the my gosh. van on the short <laughs> the track. Van. The van. So hey, no no knock on the editing here, but it doesn't. Yeah. Even compared to what it felt like <laughs> to be in the van. Wait, were you in the van? No, I was, I was flying the drone. Yeah. So he was in the back. So with those I was. Seat belts. Yeah, I was in the back seat without a seatbelt, and we started by saying, "Let's keep the sliding door open so that we can get shots of the track." And Jeb's like. Okay. okay. <laughs> and we get going and he's like, yeah, you might want to shut that door because as soon as we got on the track, I was like, I'm going to fall out. So we had to shut that door. I think Spencer shut it as like Trent as we're going, you know. And uh, oh, But gosh. I was falling over the whole time. I think I used a little bit of my camera angle, but it was like this the whole time because I'm just trying to keep myself upright. And that van is extremely top heavy. Oh, yeah. Extremely. And we are on mud tires. Yeah. So be of good rich, uh, all terrains. Jeb, I know you're watching this. That was by far the most scared I was the entire I might have been more scared in the van on the short track than I was jumping out of the airplane. Yeah. Like Williams there. Williams like this in the back. I don't know if your wife knew that, but William was in the van. And Peter's like, I have my kids in the van. Just take it easy. Like, I thought we were gonna flip it any second. Oh boy. I was looking at Peter like, yeah, that was nuts. The yeah, wheels on that thing, like, being on the outside of the car, you just hear, <laughs> it's just flying around the track. It was insane. These guys are very experienced, very yeah. skilled at what they do. And I, again, I did not appreciate that until we went to go karts. Yeah. <laughs> and got dumb. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah. They were smoking us. Like there's no way we leaving us in the dust. And you I was were like, cutting all the angles to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Which is very much. Yeah, I was breaking through the cones just to like <laughs> catch up with them so I could try to keep up with them again. And you know, I would follow their exact line or so I thought, and they would still just leave me in the dust. Gone. Those guys have some serious skill. So at Charlotte Motor Speedway, um, they are very focused on safety, which is very understandable. You're going, got a bunch of amateurs right. in 160 miles an hour. So they tried to space Peter and I out <laughs> equally, a half of a lap. Yeah. They did, because they didn't um, want us racing each other. They let uh, Ward and, and Jeb race. Mm -hmm. Professionals. But, yeah, but they didn't want us racing. And we had other plans. <laughs> so uh, we're walking up to the car, and Peter's like, hey, I'm going to wait on you. And I was like, all right, sweet. He was like, catch me. So I, I'm i listening. There's a person up way up top spotting you, right? Giving you instruction on what to do. So I'm listening in my headset and he's like, okay, sir, give me 2,500 RPMs and slowly let out of that clutch. And I'm like, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> This is when I was in fourth gear out of pit road. And I catch Peter like halfway around the track. And it was very on. quickly. He's like, okay, you have a slower car in front of you. You're going to pass him on the outside. And I'm like, oh, I said yes to it. So Peter and I are racing each other, uh, like taking turns, like switching up and down the track, playing. And I don't know Close. about you, but the guy in my he headset is like, sir, slow down. Get away from that car, sir. Slow it down, sir. S sir, keep passing him. Pass him. And we're just like hanging out the window. Like, yeah, right, right. That was a lot of fun. That was the fun as I had. That was the most fun. Man, Ward and Jeb had been up there giving their advice through the radios. But you guys were back with the NASCAR experience right. uh, spotters they, they at they that point. Like yeah, they, they didn't like it. I remember it happening, like, because I heard, as you were walking to your car, I saw Peter, like, motion dude. He's like, I'm going to wait on you. I was like, I was like, Ben, Ben, get the cameras. we got to get this. It's going to be good. Because you're just like. Did you say anything in your headset that, on that? The guy's just, like, steady screaming in my headset. I didn't say one word. We well, were supposed to do, like, seven laps or something. Yeah. We did, like, three. And then, yeah, we did, like, three. And the guy's like, all right, we're going to bring, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. What if when you just kept going until the gas was out? I, oh, I did say one thing. So I pushed the button and I was like, 
how much is the donut fee in the grass? And he was like, don't do that. <laughs> I was like, dang. Oh, man. No, but NASCAR was one of my favorite adventures. Yeah. And it was super accessible. So that's why we do these adventures is yeah. to inspire people to get off the couch, go find something that, you know, makes you feel adrenaline rush or alive or whatever. Um, something to, to make your life more active and fun. And this one was super easy to do. I and, mean, and it's inexpensive. I mean, I think you can do it for as little as $300. You can do, some you people know, are like, that's a lot, but eat ramen noodles for a week and yeah, you can do it. it's not a lot. Um, yeah, I'll say that most of my adventures in my life have been more high adventure, hunting, fishing, mountain climbing, whitewater rafting. But this is a new type of adventure that I that kind of opened my eyes to what's out there. And yeah. I think the, the point of this whole video series and channel, Project Adventure for Groove Life, is to just encourage people to, that they're, you know, encourage them to do something, but also to just open up, break down the barriers. It's not expensive. And there's NASCAR experience all over the country. Right. All the, you know, noodling and, and paragliding, all the things that we've done, they're all around, you know, under $1,000 typically. Yeah. And, and they're accessible, it's fun. So, <laughs> so you guys check out the ultimate guides. We write all about this in a blog post and we have another video that we talk about the pricing, the history of the sport, um, whatever we're doing and how to get, do it, where to go. So check that out. And you guys, we appreciate you watching behind the scenes, NASCAR, stock car racing, keep grooving. Go fast.